Okay, this is a property in Touré which is getting a, a lot of interest at the moment. You can see it's in a nice level street. So this is the start of the house. It looks like a single storey from the front. You can see there's ample room parking for two, probably three cars even. And at the front, also in very good decorative condition. Turning around, you've got a plot of land there in front which is owned by the adjoining massive place on the left here. This is actually a huge property. The street then carries on up to the end where you have a, a little um, row of duplexes all nicely appointed. All along this street though all the neighbours are predominantly Spanish. I think at the end there there's a, a one English couple. So coming into the front doorway now has a very large hallway. Double doors with doors lead off this into the lounge dining area. You can see in the centre of this you have a very large integral wood burning stove. Double windows there to the frontage. This wall in front is a, a partition wall so it could come out if you want to make the lounge bigger but it is very good size anyway. Back out into the to the hallway. So we're going to go off to the left. You have a full size family bathroom, vanity unit with marble top. You've got a bedo, little rear window that overlooks the external internal courtyard. Sorry. So carrying on along the hallway. I mean, other than being a bit dirty, you can see the overall condition is very very good indeed nice thick character hardwood doors so first bedroom on the left hand side not so sure about the red wall but I think that can easily be fixed then what I would say is the largest bedroom on this floor very very good size again good condition throughout. This has a lovely double window that overlooks the external the internal courtyard. There's pull down shutters on all of the windows and wrecker bars on the one on the top property frontage but not on the internal windows. So the last bedroom on this floor I think this must have been used at some stage as an office because there looks like pinholes and nail holes in the wall where they must have put up firing racks and that. that's coming out in the video. But again, very bright spacious room. This is really, other than the place being a bit grubby and leaving the clean, there's a little bit of paint built coming off the wall in here, but very, very minor. Very large fitted wardrobe in here, which shall be built in. Again, hardwood doors. Coming out, back along the hallway. Into the front door. Last door on the right, extremely spacious kitchen diner. You can see it's got other whole extractor still in place, ceramic cob. Double sink unit, it's actually granite worktops as well, I don't think it goes up. But you can see from, from this ample room in here for a, a good sized dining table as, as well as the kitchen. And again, lovely double windows looking out over the internal courtyard. Boiler for the bathroom, stuff on the wall there, way out of sight. This is a handy little thing, this is you can put this all plumbed in down here, so this is where your gas bottles, washing machine and etc can go.
go and they'll be perfectly safe and keep the noise out of the kitchen area. Now what they've done here is it's not meant to be a permanent cover but they just put a cover over the top just to keep the rain off so again you know this can be used all year round. I mean this has been empty now for probably 12-13 months. Okay there's some dust on the marble stairs but really quick clean up and this will look wonderful again. Solid marble stairwell. And this is where the house I think starts to get very very special because this is a surprise. I'd be quite happy just to put the single story down there on the books at the price this one's on. But then you come up to the upper floor which is absolutely super duper. Now you've got another full family bathroom up here. But this whole floor has got vaulted ceilings with timber beams. So a nice landing area. smallest of the two bedrooms here which is still far bigger than most you get in a, a resale villa for example beautiful ceilings just really gives the impression of, of, of space and this could ideally you know this could really be like a self-contained apartment up here because you've got the bathroom now I haven't got a door key for the terrace so I'm going to have to film this out of the window but you'll get a good idea of perspective fully walled to a good height at the front so very safe and secure little storage cupboard down there to the right the tiles are deliberately sloped to take away the water but you can see runs along the whole front is additional storage areas at the end there this is this could be made very special some nice built-in seating perhaps some retiling a barbecue but it's a bit cloudy today but over in the distance you've got the sea views you're looking over the, the church of the town beautiful area and very large for this type of property so back again carrying on doorway going out to that into I would say the biggest bedroom master bedroom on this floor beautiful double doors with glass panels amazing vaulted ceilings again two double windows in here one overlooking the courtyard and one with absolutely beautiful sea views overlooking the town again now this could easily be taken out and turned into like a double patio door so you could go straight up onto the terrace wouldn't be expensive and quick to do the terrace and the other angle But uh, I think a truly outstanding property. I wish we had five or six more like this on the books, I really do. <laughs> The only other one we've got that's not even close, it's only a three bedroom, it's a single storey. The whole front needs re rendering, the kitchen needs changing, and that's priced at nearly 90000 and that's only a three bedroom, it's five. 